will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. As such, I don't expect many of you to appreciate the subtle science and exact art that is potion making. However, for those select few who possess the predisposition, I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. I can tell you how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even put a stopper in death. Then again, maybe some of you have come to Hogwarts in possession of abilities so formidable that you feel confident enough to not pay attention. Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? You don't know? Well, let's try again. Where, Mr. Potter, would you look if I asked you to find me a bezel? I don't know, sir. And what is the difference between monkshood and wolfbane? I don't know, sir. Pity. Clearly, fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? Turn to page 394. Sir, it's Quidditch tomorrow. Then I suggest you take extra care, Mr. Potter. Loss of limb will not excuse you. Page 394. Congratulations. Your performance in the Black Lake was inspiring. Gillyweed, am I correct? Yes, sir. Ingenious. A rather rare herb, gillyweed. Not something found in your everyday garden. Nor is this. Know what it is? Bubble juice, sir. Veritaserum. Three drops of this, and you know who himself would spill his darkest secrets. The use of it on a student is regrettably forbidden. However, should you ever steal from my personal stores again, my hand might just slip over your morning pumpkin juice. I haven't stolen anything. Don't lie to me. Gillyweed may be innocuous, but boom slang skin, lace swing flies, you and your little friends are brewing polyjuice potion, and believe me, I'm going to find out why. <laughs> You've just bought yourself a month's detention, McLagan. Not so quick, Potter. Sir, I really think I should rejoin the party my date. I can surely survive your absence for another minute or two. Besides, I only wish to convey a message. A message? From Professor Dumbledore. He asked me to give you his best, and he hopes you enjoy your holiday. You see, he's traveling, and he won't return until term resumes. Traveling where? Appears that there is a connection between the Dark Lord's mind and your own. Whether he is as yet aware of this connection is for the moment unclear. Pray he remains ignorant. He 
You mean if he knows about it, then he'll be able to read my mind? Read it. Control it. Unhinge it. In the past, it was often the Dark Lord's pleasure to invade the minds of his victims, creating visions designed to torture them into madness. Only after extracting the last exquisite ounce of agony, only when he had them literally begging for death, would he finally kill them. Used properly, the power of our clemency will help shield you from access or influence. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Prepare yourself. Let him chill him out. Concentrate, Potter. Focus. Many of you are surely wondering why I have summoned you at this hour. It's come to my attention that earlier this evening, Harry Potter was sighted in Hogsmeade. Now, should anyone, student or staff, attempt to aid Mr. Potter, they will be punished in a manner consistent with the severity of their transgression. Furthermore, any person found to have knowledge of these events who fails to come forward will be treated as equally guilty. Now then, if anyone here has any knowledge of Mr. Potter's movements this evening, I invite them to step forward. Now. How dare you stand where he stood? Tell them how it happened that night. Tell them how you looked him in the eye. A man who trusted you and killed him. Tell them.
Take them. Take them. Please. Give me something. Quickly, a flask, anything. Good evening, Bellatrix. I think introductions are in order, don't you? I'd love to, Albus. But I'm afraid we're on a bit of a tight schedule. <laughs> Do it! He doesn't have the stomach, just like his father. Let me finish him in my own way. No! The Dark Lord has cleared the voice to do it. This is your moment. Do it! Go on, Draco! No! about a cadaver. <laughs> The boy must die. Yes. Yes. He must die. been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. Voldemort himself must do it. That is essential. 